Hi, this is Christian Cantrell, and this is a demo of the new uh, mouse pointer lock APIs available in Chrome. Uh, so this is a simple um, parallax effect where the um, squares uh, move along with the pointer and give this illusion of, of depth as they move. Now I'm going to go over into full screen here, and you'll see that two things happen. One is that obviously we're in full screen, so the browser of Chrome has gone away. But the other thing that's happened is that the mouse pointer has gone away, and that's because the mouse pointer is locked. So what's actually happened is that the pointer is locked in the last position it was in before I called the, the lock API, and is no longer visible. Uh, and the uh, mouse move events are still being thrown, but rather than getting the mouse pointer coordinates, I'm actually just um, using a different property that, shows, that uh, tells me uh, which direction the mouse is moving in and, uh, and how much. Uh, the advantage here is that I can kind of move infinitely, which was not possible when the cursor was, uh, was visible because the mouse cursor would, would just you know, hit the edge of the window or the monitor or go onto a second monitor, or whatever the case may be. Um, in this instance, you can see that I can move the, uh, move the mouse sort of infinitely to either side and, uh, and the, the patterns you know, keep shifting. So this is more of what you'd expect from a, uh, a gaming experience or a more sort of immersive 3D type experience. Uh, the, uh, this technique is obviously going to be useful primarily for things like games and this is all this demo is all being done with Canvas so you could see how you know, this could be you know, turned into some kind of an interesting game. Um, and uh, it's available in uh, canary builds of Chrome right now. It's actually technically available in the main uh, branch of, of Chrome, but it wasn't really working very well for me. Um, it's still in sort of an experimental state. Um, I expect the APIs will probably change, um, but uh, they are maturing, and you can experiment with it now. And uh, before too long, you'll be able to, uh, to use these kinds of APIs to build browser-based games. Thanks for watching.